Okay, uh, okay, here we are in Matrix Gold. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. Uh, if I uh, miss something or you have any questions, please leave a comment because there's uh, going to be a lot involved here. Uh, so first I'm going to go to my curve, uh, interp curve or freeform curve uh, and uh, change it to yellow. And then I'm just going to draw. I have my points set at five. You can change that to see how many points will affect it back beyond where you're clicking. So we'll do a little something like this and we'll do a little editing to it, make it a little bit uh, nicer looking maybe, I don't know, uh, and something like that's fine, yeah, I'll take this point here and kind of drag it up a little bit, yeah, there we go, uh, that's okay, we'll take this and we'll mirror it to our other side, F4, holding down shift, and we'll place that. And right away, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, rebuild those. Uh, eight points, that should be okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, okay. Uh, and then what we're going to do is do a in between curve. Uh, it's in between in matrix uh, nine. It's a uh, tween curve, uh, somebody's being funny, in uh, matrix gold. So there's one curve, there's two curves, and there's our curve. So we want to accept that. All right, from here, what we want to do is just check. Rebuild again, rebuild uh, non-uniform this time, uh, and see where our surface is going to flow. It's not looking bad. We'll just go ahead and take that one and move it up slightly. And we'll take this one and move it back slightly. So we'll not have nice, clean surface. Uh, the reason why you do this, uh, if I if I take this curve here, for instance, say you're going to be doing some scroll work or something, and uh, we're going to offset this curve, and we're going to do it uh, through points so I have a little bit more control where to place it. And somewhere around here, maybe. Uh, and then I do a loft on this. So if I go to surface and just do a loft and hit enter, uh, you can see the points are going back on themselves. So this is not real good for surface modeling. So we're going to cancel that. We're going to go uh, type in uh, rebuild again, non uniform. Rebuild curves non uniform. We'll take these and we'll select enter. Now you can see it shows those curves going back. So, what we want to do is we just want to drag them to make them more in line with each other on the surface. It will affect our curve just slightly. And I have uh, delete uh, input, yes, so it'll take away the original curves. Uh, and there we go. So, now if I do a loft on this and select these two and hit enter. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, if I hit loft, select my first curve, select my second curve, hit enter. Now you can see the points. It's a nice, clean surface. So that's what you want. So you want to go back and redo those lines so that you have a nice, smooth, clean surface. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and hide it for now. We'll go back to our uh, petal here. And uh, what I'm going to do from this point is uh, take all these curves and I'm going to duplicate them uh, in place and huh? oh no 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 sorry let's go back alright so I'm going to take all these duplicate them from this point from my front view holding down shift uh, maybe uh, Let's do two millimeter, and we'll just hit uh, enter there. Okay, so now let's go back, take a look what we got. We got a nice little square petal, which is not very interesting. All right, uh, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take these curves and just let's just rebuild them, just to be safe, and hit enter. Okay, and the next thing uh, what I want to do is I want to go to curves. Uh, and I want to go to arc direction 
and go to my front view and I need to make a little uh, hump for my stem of my petal there on the inside. Let's not make it too big. Hold down shift. I can select this curve. I can adjust these points down or up. Oh, something like that's fine about where it was. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and line that, uh, close that off and then I'm going to join it. It'll just make it easier for me. Uh, and join. Okay, so it should be one join surface. Now what I want to do is I want to uh, select that uh, and I want to duplicate it. Point to duplicate would be my midpoint. And then I'll go to my perspective view and then I'll add one on this end of the curve and I'll add one on that end of the curve. Okay, and at this point we'll just hide that one. Okay, so my pedal's not really looking interesting right now, but what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to. Okay, that's fine. Uh, take this and take this guy here, holding down shift, selecting him, and I want to explode the two of them. Okay, so I want to get rid of that bottom line there, we don't need it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just slightly edit this a little bit, not too much. Just bring that down, bring that down, bring this one down a little, bring that one down. So it looks like it's going to be uh, concaved when I uh, do the flow, okay? So something like that. And actually you can go over here and manipulate these a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to do it a whole lot. Uh, and same thing on this side. You can manip manipulate these. Okay, so we'll just take that for now. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go to uh, Transform. I want to go to Orient. Two points. I want to select that center curve there and then point to reference point one, this side here, reference point two, that side there. And then I need to attach it to my profiles. Make sure it's on the right one. And then I need to go back and do it one more time for the other side. With my snaps on. Hit twice and it's out of the command and they are in the right place. I'm going to take that curve and just, uh, well I should have saved him but he's gone. Uh, and at this point what we're going to do is go to our loft menu. So start doing some lofting and see how it's coming out. We'll loft this and this and hit enter, enter. We'll hit right click, select that curve and this curve and enter and we'll come over to this side, select this curve and this curve and hit enter and we'll select this one here and this one and hit enter and then one more enter, okay yeah and then we'll select this curve here to our mid, enter and then our mid over to our last one there and enter Okay, we'll back out of that one. We'll cancel that. Do it one more time. This curve here, this curve here. And why is it entering? Oh, there we go, okay. All right, uh, so there's our flower petal. Nothing much so far. Uh, now what we wanna do is we want to do a uh, two rail sweep from this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, and enter and just get rid of all that stuff here. Don't need it. And hit enter. <coughs> okay, so we got everything going good. It's looking okay. All right. So at this point, what we want to do is hide our curves. We don't need them for right now for this next step. This next step is kind of important. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, match, type in the command line, match surface, uh, M-A-T-C-H-S-R-F. And we're going to hit enter. 
Okay, so it's telling us to select untrimmed surface. You cannot do it with a trimmed or uh, split surface or anything like that. It has to be uh, flowed like we just did, uh, untrimmed. And then select the one to take. We'll take this one and we'll hit enter. Take this surface and this surface. Okay, so we'll do that again. So go in. Uh, sorry, I uh, will select this curve here. Select that again, and there we go. We want it at tangency and none, automatic. Okay, so now it's got a nice little rounded edge on it. We're going to do the same thing to this side here, and then select that curve again, and same thing, tangency you no. Know. Okay and then from here we want to do it again from this one select that thing and see how it jacks it up but if you hit position it shouldn't do it uh, but it is so we'll cancel that we won't do it to that one <laughs> uh, we'll come down here at the bottom select this one select it again and tangency okay and we'll select this one here and click it again and tangency and then we'll click this one here click it again and hit tangency okay so the only one we really didn't do is at center which is I guess fine let's take a look at it see what it looks like nice little uh, leaf effect there okay there's still more to do uh, what we need to do now is, right now they're all different surfaces, right? But if you join them, uh, there's a lot of things you can't do uh, with the surface uh, at this point. So what we want to do is we want to go and click on, or match, or merge, sorry. M-E-R-G-E, -E, merge uh, surfaces, S-R-F, merge surfaces. So we want to take this surface and this surface, and now it's one surface. Now we want to take, uh, again, we'll right click, take this surface and this surface, and now these are one surface, and we'll take, uh, we'll right click this surface and this surface, and we'll keep on going around our item. And then our last one, there. That's it. Okay, so now we have a, a complete one piece, one surface, which is very important at this point. Because with one surfaces or surfaces, you can always turn on control points, but with something like this, you can turn them all on by typing uh, points on. Okay, we'll do it again. Point oh, let me click off of that. <coughs> points on and it'll ask us to select, select our object and then hit enter so there's all our points okay and you can go through and then manipulate these at this if you wanted to but what we're going to do is just close off this end here on the front we'll go to our top and we'll kind of go in here select all of them and then we'll go back to perspective and with matrix uh, 3 version 3 uh, you're able to hold down shift and click on this and then go if your point snap is uh, turned on it'll snap straight to a point okay so now you have a little edge like that we want to go th one more time here though we want to take these go back to perspective and then we want to get a good look at it and we want to drag those forward a little bit and you can see we're manipulating the surface a little bit more okay uh, and then hit enter and then to get those points off you type in points off enter well objects all right let's go points peel OFF there we go Okay, so there's our object, our nice little petal. And here, from here, what you want to do is uh, close that in there. You could do it the same way if that's what you wanted. Uh, or you can uh, just uh, dupe edge. Slicked edge to dupe. There it is. Uh, hit enter. 
and then you can go in there and click that curve type in cap hit enter and it should cap uh, select objects to cap and hit enter okay there we go and now it varies hmm? okay well let's find out what's wrong with it uh, we'll go up to our miscellaneous uh, no 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 our uh, analyze edge tool find out where no naked edges Okay, let's take it again, click on it. Oh, okay, now it says closed surface. No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so at this point, it's a closed surface. It's, you can Boolean it. You can do all kinds of things with it if you wanted to. Add stuff to it, cut holes in it, uh, throw a, something on the surface. Uh, or you could, if you wanted to, just go to your top menu. And you could take the take the item, drag it out a little bit, uh, go to transform, select array, polar, polar, uh, select our items, uh, hit enter. We'll try. Let's see, center by F4, and we'll keep it at seven, and hit enter, enter, and there's our and enter one more time okay and from here all you have to do is go to your uh, solids uh, click on a sphere from F4 and turn off snaps so you have better control and put a little sphere out there go to uh, and then you can just split that and go get uh, go to surface planar curve uh, go to your top menu click planar go to perspective make sure it's not hitting our item here we just want to trim a little off that ball there so it doesn't let's go to front view okay there's our planar curve, so we'll drag it down just a little bit more. Go to there, hit enter, do a boolean. No. Go to our solid menu. Uh, well, s split. We'll split this. Select select object to split. Plus enter. Select cutting objects hit enter get rid of that get rid of that cap that which it should cap no problem yep and there you go got a little flower You can put diamonds on there. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. But there's a little example of uh, some advanced surface modeling. Uh, you know, making that all out into one piece from several different items and then being able to manipulate it and grow it. So I hope this helps. Uh, like I said, if there's some questions or anything that you have, please uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Uh, but, uh, Hope you liked the video. If it helped you, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, leave me uh, a comment. Uh, thanks for watching, and good designing.